Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. All right, Taurus. All right, this is what's going on here, Taurus. This is what's going on, Taurus. Here we go. Okay? Page of Cups. First card out. It starts everything. It is the it is the precursor to this whole reading. There is someone that wants to emotionally connect with you, Taurus. Uh-huh. The Ace of Cups. They're catching some kind of feels for you, Taurus. They are. They're catching some kind of feels for you. And they are going to be brave. And they are going to reach out to see if they can procure some kind of relationship with you, right? But it's not someone that is going to say, hey, I want a relationship with you. This is just the, the, the toes in the water kind of stuff, right? So someone, and I feel um, a shyness about this person, okay? Someone is going to gingerly, uh, softly explore if Taurus is available emotionally, that's what's going on, okay? Someone's going to reach out and see if Taurus is emotionally available. But there's Taurus with the Knight of Cups in reverse saying, hell no. <laughs> hell no, I'm not emotionally available. Um, this Knight of Cups in reverse kind of tells me that if you're not paying attention this is so subtle and so soft and so timid that the old bull is just going to roll right over it, right? Like a, like the classic bull in the china shop, right? This person is going to be like, hey, Taurus, and Taurus is going to be oblivious to what's happening. I don't know about y'all, but it's real hard for me personally to, to identify when someone is flirting with me or when someone shows interest to me because I, Taurus, me being Taurus, right? Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. If you are not direct with me, I just don't don't even freaking get it. I just don't even get it, right? Because I am a direct person. Most Taurus people are direct people. And this is not going to be direct, okay? This is a little roundabout kind of thing just to see if Taurus uh, would be open to even a little bit more than just pages and aces, okay? And there's Taurus with the Knight of Cups in reverse. Like, no, no. Why? Five of Swords. Because you're holding on to some kind of white knuckle grip on a win at all costs mentality. What's that? The Three of Swords. This particular Taurus has been grief stricken about love and romance in the past. Grief, sorrow, pain has been your experience in the past, right? We have the nine of swords in reverse in the center of the reading. This is a painful experience. So Taurus has endured, encountered, gone through some kind of painful experience when it comes to love, romance, vulnerability, and intimacy in their life. And that is why Taurus is unable or unwilling to allow this to uh, manifest. Yep, 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 yep. Judgment comes on top of this and says, come on, Taurus. Come on, man. Draw a line in the sand and say all the bullshit from the past stops here. I need to make clear, discerning decisions about the potential of some kind of path for my future in regards to some kind of love and romance. And judgment says, we need you to discern this when it happens and don't just bulldoze over it like a freight train. So Taurus needs to apply some good discernment so they can see this happening when it happens because the star, because it's part of your path. It's part of your purpose. It is renewal of your, your life somehow. 
and the Knight of Swords comes on top of this and says, see this when it happens and engage in it. See this when it happens and engage in it. The sun, because we're trying to lead you to happiness, success, and vitality. We need you to see very clearly the chariot in reverse, that if you don't take action in this situation, two of cups in reverse, you are going to miss an opportunity to engage with some kind of emotions in this situation. And the fool, the fool says there's a new beginning. There's a new journey. There is new, new, new path to happiness, success, and vitality. New purpose. Engage with this. Be, be sensitive. Be sensitive to who's dropping little something somethings in your life to see if they even have a chance with this particular Taurus. The fool says there's a new way. What's the new way? Well, it's not Taurus being all guarded um, and stuck in grief and sorrow and pain. There's a new adventure about to open up in your life, Taurus. There is. Ten of Swords in reverse. Renewal and regeneration in a mindset to the Five of Cups in reverse. Moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Number one, you need a renewal in your mindset. Move on from what it is that is keeping you, that is sequestering you in a place of, of walled off closed downness. Okay? Downness. Is that even a word? Walled off closed downness. Okay? It's time to move on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. It is time to transform a mindset of betrayal and deception. This is a Taurus who has been hurt in the past, who is saying, nope, never again, never again. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands says change, though. Change, movement, action, change. Clarified by the Eight of Wands. Movement, action, and change. Your movement, action, and change procures movement, action, and change in your life by this little, this little engagement that's happening right here. And the Ace of Pentacles says it's new. It's new. It's not someone that you used to know. It's not someone from your past. It is new. The Ace of Cups is new. The Ace of Pentacles is new. The Page of Cups is new. The Fool is new. So this is all new movement, new person, nobody from your past. But yet Taurus, the Nine of Swords in reverse in the center of this spread, is stuck in a place of a painful lesson. Uh-huh. And then guess what? The Ten of Swords in reverse comes on top of it again and says it's time to regenerate your mindset. It's time for a reset. Ten is the number of completion. Ten is about bringing a painful period of your life to completion with a change in your mindset. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is disgust, right? It's just disgust. It's just like, ugh, I just don't even, I just don't even, I just don't even, I just don't even want to. And the Knight of Pentacles says, you've been like this for a good long minute. Good long minute you've been like this. The High Priestess to the Devil, right? Contradiction right there. Big time contradiction. The high priestess says this is divinely guided. The high priestess says healing is in order. The high priestess says this relationship will help you heal from the pain that you have experienced in the past. Look, the moon coming to terms but with, with, with your own emotional struggle. Coming to terms once and for all. And understanding that just because something hurt doesn't mean that it should never be touched again. True. The devil. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. It's toxic to your life. Who wants you to stay like this? Well, the old El Diablo does. Because if you'll give love another chance, if you'll give a relationship another chance, you have 
the full capacity and potential to enter into an extremely rewarding experience. Does it mean that it's forever and always amen till the, ten, till the end of time? Not necessarily, because it depends on how everybody acts. It just depends on how everybody acts, right? The universe can't say the two of you are going to be together forever and always amen, period. It's not how it goes. Depends on how you act, depends on how they act, whether this can actually be forever and always, amen. But I'm telling you, Taurus, you have an opportunity that is going to present itself, new, new, new opportunity that is going to present itself, that is going to take you to exactly where you truly want to be in your life. But you got to let your guard down. You got to let your guard down and you got to let someone in, Taurus. You got to let someone in. And that's coming to terms in the moon card because it's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The high priestess says, heal, heal. Don't stay in the toxic energy of shoulda, coulda, wouldas, never again. I will never allow this to happen again. Don't. Life is too short for that. It is. Life is too short to say, I will never, ever be vulnerable ever, ever again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Eight of Cups in reverse, again, to the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse is about, obviously, a lack of success. It's about domineering and controlling energy. And this is Taurus, right? When Taurus gets their mind set on something, come hell or high water, nobody's going to change it. That's why all of these cards are saying Taurus needs to change from the inside, in and of yourself. There needs to be a change in the way that you will allow yourself to be vulnerable again. Because love means vulnerability. And that's okay, Taurus. It's okay to be vulnerable. And everybody's out there like, no, I don't ever want to feel that pain again. But what about the joy that you felt? What about the joy that you felt? Sometimes the joy is worth the pain. Personally, my second marriage, right? It was, it was, it was terrible towards the end. And we went through a contentious bit of a divorce, but we didn't have kids or, or any kind of um, material possessions that we owned together. So it was really quite easy. It was a, my signature, his signature, and it was a done deal. However, however painful that relationship was, I can look back on that relationship and say, you know what, we had a good time. We had a good time. We traveled the world together. We had friends and family and uh, the relationship between the two of us. When it was good, it was great. There were good times in whatever this situation is for you, Taurus. And you can't not allow yourself to ever have good times again for fear of the pain that was at the end. You can't do that. You can't give all of your power to a past experience and forego your future. You just can't. And that King of Pentacles in reverse is Taurus being stubborn. Stubborn when it comes to being emotionally vulnerable. Six of Pentacles. Giving, receiving, sharing in the prosperity of life. The Queen of Pentacles. This opportunity, new small someone tapping you to see if you're receptive has the potential to grow into exactly what you want a relationship to be. But you have to let your guard down. Not only do you have to let your guard down, but you have to see it when it's happening because the big old bull's just going to tromp right over it if you're not sensitive to what this person is trying to test the waters for. Strength in reverse. What's your weakness, right? What's your weakness? Well, the seven of swords in reverse. You have to let go go of a futile mentality that is associated with betrayal, deception, and despair. 
Okay, you have to because it is the weak link. Why is it a weak link? Well, nothing can ever happen in the realm of romance or emotions if you don't change your mind. King of Pentacles in reverse because the Taurus is stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. And we need to loosen up a little bit. The Five of Pentacles in reverse talks about spiritual poverty. It does. It either talks about coming out of a financial bind or it talks about spiritual poverty. This whole coming out of the cold thing, that is some nickname definition that somehow somewhere was created in the world of online tarot, okay? This Five of Pentacles in reverse is about coming out of the cold. What kind of cold are you in? Well, the Ace of Cups in reverse. You're not allowing any kind of emotional connection or emotional growth. Why? Six of Cups in reverse. Because you're still stuck in the pain of a past situation that hurt so much that you never want to do it again. Uh-huh. Five of Wands in reverse says stop avoiding the responsibility of what? Of pulling yourself together because you're kind of living in this and it's time to close it down. It is. It's time to close it down. The Nine of Cups in reverse, your emotional disgruntledness, unsatisfactory experience. The Wheel of Fortune comes right on top of this. Oh, look, you guys can't even see those. The Wheel of Fortune comes right on top of this right here and says, this is divinely orchestrated, Taurus. The universe knows what you need. Not only do they know what you need, but they know what you want. Deep down in your heart of hearts and in your soul of souls, this particular Taurus truly wants a new start. They want a new relationship. They desire to have companionship and love in their life. And the universe is saying with the Wheel of Fortune, it's right here, Taurus. It's right here. You can have it, but you have to want it. You have to allow it to happen. You have to be sensitive to what the, the universe is trying to bring into your life. The Eight of Swords, because you're in a, in, a, in, a, in a mental imprisonment. No, no, no. Not interested. Don't want it. Not interested. Don't want it. Eight of Swords in reverse says you've got to get a new perspective. New perspective, Taurus. You've got to unlock that mind. Ten of Pentacles, because this relationship truly has the potential to be the foundational stones for your future. Hangman in reverse, but your resistance, your stubbornness is gumming up the cycle. Four of Cups in reverse, your emotional apathy, Emperor in reverse, is rooted in ego. Um, your emotional apathy is rooted in your ego, but, but, but your emotional apathy, most importantly, is rooted in your experience from the previous relationship that put you in this boxed in mindset. Yes, what you have to understand, Taurus, is yeah, if, if, if you keep serving your flesh, if you keep choosing the same kind of people, if you keep being attracted to the same kind of emperor in reverse energy, you're probably going to get what it is that you always got. But if you will grow, if you will embrace divine orchestration in your life, if you will follow your soul's guidance, Taurus, where's that high priestess at? If you will follow your soul's guidance, Taurus, here it is, they will lead you to a different relationship. They will lead you to a different kind of person. They will lead you, they, the universe, universal order, knows exactly who you need. And they are trying to break it through for you. But they need you to cooperate. Mm -hmm. The king of wands, right? The king of wands is someone, uh, it's, it's kind of double-edged, okay? This King of Wands is about the person up here that's trying to break through, 
bringing you all kinds of new inspiration, aspiration, passion, fire, energy. If you will allow yourself to engage in this, your heart is going to be on fire. You're going to have such a beautiful experience in this situation. But you got to balance out and prioritize the manifestation of it. Because it can't come through if you don't want it. And the Taurus in this reading is all over the place saying, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. But yet the soul nature of this person is saying, I want this so bad I can't hardly see straight. The flesh is saying, no, no, no. But the chest is saying, I want a long-term, steady, committed, stable, beautiful, divinely orchestrated relationship in my life. But the old flesh is saying, not going to let go, not going to change, not going to allow myself to ever be vulnerable again. How this manifests in your life depends on your mindset. Change your mind, you will change your reality. The magician says, it's trying to make right now. It is. It's trying to make right now to the hermit. So let's do some deep soul searching and introspection. Let's take a step back, take a breath, and ask Source, whatever name you have decided you want to call Source by, sit down and commune with Source. Do some deep soul searching and some deep introspection so you can be in the right frame of mind. Emperor to the Empress. I cannot make this up. This relationship, which is just at the little teeny, tiny, teeniest, tiniest seedling of potential right now, depends upon Taurus engaging with it, and it has the potential to grow to be the Emperor and the Empress. Divine counterparts. Like I said in the Pisces reading, it's a match made in heaven. But Taurus has to participate. Look, the hangman in reverse, right? Resistance. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Resisting this person. Resisting this date. Resisting this offer. Resisting the urge to stop and talk for a minute. Resisting everything because you had some kind of painful experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but skiing comes to my mind. And even horseback riding like I do, right? I don't, if you're new to the channel, I have a horse and I ride my horse all over the place. About six months ago, I broke my ribs. I did. Just walking along. Silly. Silliest mistake I've ever made in my life. We were just walking along. And guess what I was doing? I was fucking with my phone trying to get the camera up so I could take a picture and I wasn't paying attention. And something rustled in the bushes and my horse, she didn't do anything wrong. She just took a sidestep like anybody would do, right? Walking down the trail and you're like, whoa, what's that? Right? Well, when she did that, because I wasn't doing my job and riding my horse the way I should have been, um, I s literally just slipped out of the saddle and I fell um, not hard, like almost at a standstill, but I fell on a little log and that little log broke my rib, my top rib, right? But am I not ever going to ride my horse again? Hell no. I, I rode with broken ribs. <laughs> I did. I rode with broken ribs. No, you can't not get back up on the horse because you got hurt, right? You have to get back up on the horse, Taurus. And the skiing thing that came to my mind, how many people have broken a limb going down the mountain and they are counting the seconds till their doctor says you can ski again? Send it, Taurus. Send it down the mountain, Taurus. Just because you got hurt doesn't mean that you can't ski again. Come on. It's beautiful, Taurus. Resistance is futile. Stop resisting. 
judgment, just like this judgment. We need you to decide that you are going to accept this, that you are going to engage with this. Decide that you are going to do this. Deciding that you're going to do this activates the manifestation of it. And then we got a little bit of a repeat, right? Queen of Cups in reverse, hurt feelings. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, used to hold that title, but don't anymore. Page of Swords in reverse, it's all bullshit. It's all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Everybody sucks. No, who sucks is the kind of people that you agreed to engage with in the past. That's what sucks. Right? If this is a divinely orchestrated relationship coming into your life, it's not going to suck. But again, depends on how you act through the course of the relationship. Two of Pentacles in reverse, not interested, not interested. The moon in reverse. Again, second time, come to terms with yourself, Taurus. Come to terms with, with this deep emotional struggle about not wanting to be vulnerable. Yeah, look, come to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that you harbor in your mind. Okay? Seven of Wands. Because if you keep trying to defend yourself from the pain of love, you're never, ever going to get back on the horse and ride. You have to get back on the horse, Taurus. You have to. Because this beautiful relationship that is in the seedling, little seedling stages needs to grow. And the only way that it can grow is if you change the way that you feel and think think about new love coming into your life. There is new love coming into your life, Taurus. There is, but you have to let it happen. And it can't happen. You won't recognize these little seedlings right here if you don't snap out of this mindset. You will bulldoze right through it. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, it's a new beginning. It's a new journey. It's the path to happiness, success, and vitality. It's waiting to be manifested, healing. It's all. It's so beautiful, Taurus. But you got to want it. You got to want it. If you don't want it, it's not going to happen. If you don't want it, it's not going to happen. The emperor and the empress. This relationship has huge potential, Taurus. This is beautiful, Taurus. This is beautiful. If you would like a roadmap as to how to come to terms with yourself so you can procure your path and your purpose in this lifetime, you can read my book, Who Do You Think You Are? It's available on Amazon and there is an audio link in the description box. Namaste.